Hello everybody, this is a video for my customers and for anybody else who wanted to assemble um, a stretcher bars. Safety first, you are going to use, you have to use goggles as these ones or better ones, whatever, and gloves, okay? And that's very important. Okay, what I'm going to show is a little bit of the process. I buy these boards in Home Depot or Lowe's, these big boards like that one, show them like that, and then I cut, I cut these stripes, these bars, okay? Now I want to make an example of something that you may have to do at home. of 22 okay this is a 22 by 22 now I just got the leg now we are going to cut the, the ends okay the ends and this is when it comes the depth of the frames okay let's cut the depth for the 22 1.5 and three quarters of an inch. Okay. Okay. Pancho, come here. Say hi. Hello, Pancho. <laughs> okay. This part is going to be smooth the edges. Okay. For you guys to be much better when you stretch your canvas. So let's do that. together this with a, a stapler, heavy duty stapler, okay? What kind of staples does it take? This kind. You can take a close-up. Monica, Monica is helping me. This is a 3-8 uh, hard heavy duty staples. And this is the machine. It's about $20 the machine, about $5 the staples. Let's see how do we put together a frame three quarters deep with a stapler, heavy duty stapler, and a center bar. This is important too, but I will show you in a minute, okay? Let's put together first the frame itself. Okay, you have to put it as much as you can square, make a close up in there, Monica. Okay, not like this, not like this. Let's make it perfect especially in the outside if it doesn't fit in the inside it's okay important is that here is perfect now came with staples you hold the staples and put you see this line right in the middle uh, show the line again Marina. i didn't get it the line of the staple get the angle from there yes okay the center of the line you put it right there in the middle the line of the staple the line this in the middle 
this line of the stapler, you put it right there in the middle. If you leave it like that, it's wrong. You have to have somebody to help you or push it with your fingers and try to make it perfect, okay? So, like that, and push the machine down and put the stapler. And that's our okay, first step, our second step. Oh. It's important to push the machine down. If you don't, that staple may be a little bit off and you have to have a hammer and knock it down, okay? Okay, two, you can put three to make sure it's very deep. Let's go to the other corner. Same thing, you put it corner with corner and one, two, Three. Let's do the other end. We put it precisely on the corner. Precisely on the corner. You can do this if you don't have this kind of table or saw horses. You can put it in your floor, not in a carpet floor, but you can put it in a hard floor, wood or um, ceramic or something. Um, and so. And of course, always be careful with your fingers, okay? You can put gloves with this. I prefer not because it's hard for me to hold it and I have a lot of practice and actually sometimes I hurt myself. So be careful with that. You can do it. And the last one. Push together and one, two, oh, perfect. I ran out of a staple. How do we change the staples? Perfect. This is a perfect example. From the back, you push down and get out. This. And this has a size. It doesn't go like this or like this, that's just like that. We introduce the staples right here has a groove like a train there 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 and then this part you can go right there to put this it doesn't go just like that you have to go like this look it has a little trick coming from the top and then down and then in let's show again you put and it, it won't go like that you have to come in from the top, then down, and then release. Okay, and let me finish. Okay, three. Is that ready? Not yet. We have to turn this over and put three more in each corner. Let's do that rather quickly. And I'm going to make a mistake just to show you what happened on purpose. I will push one okay, two okay, but the third one will not push the machine. Look what happened. The staple is out. So there, I'm going to grab my hammer and hammer that staple down. Because even that little, make a close up on that, looks okay. No, it's not perfect. It has to be flush with the wood, okay? So that is not, and it will stick out of the canvas. So this is a special hammer. As you can see, one side is flat and the other is rounded. This is perfect. If you don't have this one, it's okay. Another hammer will do it. And now you can see that it's flashing, okay? Now, come perfect to the center that. bar. What is the center bar for? Usually my customer asks me for huge frame. Actually over there you see long boards. The center bar, can be put one here, another here, or just one in the center. For the example, I'm not going to make it too long, so I'm going to put just one to show you. But, uh, what is the deal with it? Try to be right in the middle. Look what happened. I'm going to cut this as close, close as I can for you to match. If it doesn't match, don't force it too much. It, can, it has to be snug, okay? 
Look at that, for example, it's a little bit too long. That's why it doesn't fit. That's why I add sometimes for my customers sandpaper and you have to sand it. Okay, I know it's a lot of work, but it, to estimate this distance is very, very difficult for me, especially to be precise. And if it's too short, I will always add different shims. And different shims on the thickness, you can, you can see one is thicker and the other one is thinner. And if it's like that, you can put one like that, or if you need a little bit more, okay has to be usually it won't take two it could but i will try not to so i will try always to be as close as i can but i i am not um i am not that perfect yet so let's see what happened in this case i have my my, my saw here so i can saw this in a in a second why because i can put it right here i can mark right here the extra that I need to be cut it, I just mark, and I know that is the excess. So I got my machine and cut it. If you have it, if you have to sand all of that, well, it's a little bit of work, I understand, but that's, that's the deal of it, okay? So let's do this. <laughs> 